Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you my late 2006 iMac. This particular iMac is a 17 inch version, which was actually the last 17 inch iMac to be produced. This is also one of the highest end 17 inch iMacs with a 2 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo with 4 MB of L2 cache, 3 GB of RAM, ATI Radeon X 1600 graphics with 128 MB of dedicated video RAM, a 160 gigabyte hard drive, and a super drive. This particular machine is currently running Mac OS X Lion, as that is the highest operating system this machine can support. If the machine had less than 2 gigabytes of RAM, then the highest operating system would be Snow Leopard. One important thing to note with these machines, however, is the many problems they have. These machines had problems with their graphics cards and screens, most notably. This particular machine had had problems with vertical lines appearing on the screen, which was actually quite common. Here I have upgraded the display because of that very problem. The original displays on these machines had a matte finish, however this one is glossy. With all of that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the ports on the back. Before we take a look at the ports, let's take a look at the back of the machine. At the top, we will find a ventilation slot. On the center of the back, we will find the iMac logo, which was eventually replaced with just the Apple logo. In the bottom right-hand corner, we will find the power button. On the opposite side, we will see our ports. And underneath, we will find a ventilation hole, along with our power socket. For ports, we have audio out, audio in, three USB 2.0 ports, two FireWire 400 ports, Ethernet, and mini DVI video out. Along the bottom of the machine, we will find additional ventilation along with a RAM access door in the middle. On the side of the machine, we will find our SuperDrive slot. And at the front top of the screen, we will find our EyeSight camera along with our microphone. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. It takes a little while to turn on, but the thing's 10 years old, so what do you expect? I apologize for the flickering on the screen. In real life, that isn't there. I've tried to adjust the settings for it to be as minimized as possible on the camera. I think that's partially the fact that it is a replacement screen, and it's probably not the same refresh rate as the original one. Although it should be, I don't know why that would be a problem. Anyway, here we have the desktop. Let's go up and take a look at about this Mac. We can see we are running Lion 10.7.5, the latest version of it. We can see our specs. We can get more information. We can see that it is indeed a late 2006 model. All the specs again. We can see the display. Apparently that's the model of it. That is the highest resolution that this display can handle, although at that high of a resolution with this computer, it's kind of hard for the graphics card to keep up, so I have it scaled down to its close to original resolution of 1440 by 900. We can see our storage here, and super drive, and we can see our memory as well. You can indeed install 4 gigs of RAM in this computer, however, 3 gigabytes will only be usable. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. The number one thing that a lot of people use on any computer is the web browser. Now with 10.7.5 Lion, excuse me, you only have pretty much one option for an up-to-date browser, and that's Firefox. 
You can of course still use Safari and Chrome, but Chrome just dropped support for Lion a little while ago. So it's kind of an up-to-date version, but it's a little behind. Of course, let's go ahead and start with Safari. Let's see, it's going to bring up one of the lighting sites here. And we see that loaded reasonably quickly. Let's go ahead and go to Apple's website, which is usually pretty intense with um, graphics of changing the pictures here at the front of their home page. And it seems to work quite well. And on this computer, I have not had any problems with YouTube. If we go and click on it, for Safari here anyway, it'll show us that it is not supported anymore. And it'll ask us to upgrade to either the latest version of Safari, Firefox, or Chrome. But you can indeed still use YouTube. Just click on their logo, and it'll take you right to their homepage. So, let's go ahead and quit Safari. Let's move over to Chrome, as it is also not supported anymore. We can see at the top of the screen here their message saying that it isn't supported on 10.6, 10.7, or 10.8, which is kind of weird. I don't even know why they dropped it. They probably just want to... Who knows? Who knows? They just decided to do it. So you have Chrome. It works just fine, just like the other browsers. There's not a problem at all. We'll go to Apple's website here, of course. Watch it change a couple slides here. So you can see that it moves plenty smoothly. Of course, YouTube works just fine on Chrome as well. Flash Player is still supported on this machine. No problems with that. It is totally up to date. And of course, let's look at Firefox. Now Firefox is the most up-to-date browser on this machine that is supported. We can go up to About Firefox and you can see as of the day of making this video, it is all the way up-to-date. Of course everything works on here just fine including YouTube and Apple's website. So there's absolutely no problem browsing the web on this machine. At least not yet anyway. Of course, maybe five more years down the road might be a different story. So let's go ahead and quit Firefox. Moving right on over on the dock, we have iTunes. iTunes is currently all the way up to date. Um, I can't remember what version this is. I think it's 12.3, and I think 12.4 just came out a couple days ago for Windows. Might not have came out yet for for this version of Mac. Oh, this is 12.2. I don't know if it's just not supported anymore. I haven't checked for updates. But currently, I'd say iTunes is up to date. Of course, we have other common things like PhotoBooth. The highest version of Microsoft Office that can be run on this machine is 2011. Of course, you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and I believe if you get some other versions you can get uh, Exchange or whatever that E is. And it all works just fine. If you want to run an older version of Microsoft Office, such as 2008, which is actually pretty good, that works just fine on this machine as well. Here it goes looking for updates, as usual. I'll do that later. But we will go ahead and see what opening a document looks like on this machine. And there you go, you're up and running. Type away at your uh, research paper or whatever you have to type. So we'll go ahead and quit Word. Excel works just fine as well. Of course the same goes for Outlook and PowerPoint on this machine. Go ahead and choose an Excel spreadsheet here. There you go. You're up and running. This mouse is something else though. Of course Skype is all the way up to date and if anybody is wondering about Minecraft it runs just fine on this machine as well. Of course we can see in applications 
all other kinds that work just fine. This machine, when I got it a long time ago, um, you know, it came with 2004 uh, pre-installed on it, and it worked just fine. Of course, in uh, Lion, there's no support for Rosetta, therefore you cannot run PowerPC applications. And Microsoft Office 2004 is a PowerPC only application. But there are plenty of applications that still run just fine on this machine. Of course, this machine is also up to date with Wi Fi. You can join any currently existing network, you don't have to have an older one. All the newer types of Wi Fi networks still work on this machine. In conclusion, I hope you all enjoyed this video of my late 2006 iMac running in 2016. It's a fantastic machine. I really love this thing. It's a great form factor for me. I'm not too big of a fan of a huge screen when you can just hunker down and get it done with a screen this size. Works fantastic. Haven't run into any problems with this machine other than the screen. Um, if you're looking to buy one of these machines, definitely be leery if the screen is starting to have malfunctions. Uh, think if you want to invest money into changing the screen, sometimes it's not even worth it. I switched this out a while ago, um, actually a couple of years ago, and uh, at the time uh, it was something I needed to do. I needed to still use this machine. Um, and it works perfectly fine now and for hopefully a long ways to come. Again, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.